I'm Dean, and you'll meet my wife, Judy. Um, we've just uh, made a bit of a milestone on the calendar here. We've been counting down our days. And if that comes up to focus, we're at 99. Stay tuned, more in store. Here we are outside uh, the Vibe in Kulgadi picking up a U-Haul trailer. Hey there everyone. Man, this is so not how I wanted it to go. I wanted to do an amazing intro, um, set up and everything on, this is it, we're packing up and we're heading back to Queensland. Well, man, it was just big rush. So we've got our convoy sorted. You just saw my Hilux with the trailer on it. And Jude's driving the motorhome. She's got her trailer all hooked up and that was our home sweet home down the driveway there. So yeah, we'll try and make it to Balladonia tonight and see how everything travels. Wish us luck. First stop after leaving Kalgoorlie on our big trip to the Gold Coast was Taylor's Maze. It was just past Balladonia on the Nullarbor Highway. Great spot to see the stars at night without any interference. And it was fairly quiet too from road noise. Highly recommended. Second night after crossing the Nullarbor was Kurabi, which was also just before Penyong. It was a tiny little pull-in spot. Um, it was quiet, just enough to rest our weary eyes for the night. Penyong, of course, is famous for uh, the windmills. Spot three, um, it was Catania, it was just shy of Broken Hill, it was getting a bit dark so we called in there, it had a fabulous night sky, uh, plenty of room and a highly recommended spot to stay. Night four, we uh, left Peterborough, kept on driving to a place called uh, Nygun. Don't make the mistake that we did. We went past the campsite on our way into the township. And when we got to the township, we asked how do we get to the weir. And we ended up being on the wrong side for the campsite. We were too tired and uh, getting a bit late to go back. So we called that spot the park for the night. Wasn't too bad. Night five. This was another big drive. Went through Gundawindi and uh, ended up at a town the little roadhouse called in Gore on the Cunningham Highway this place cooked the best chips definitely if you're really hungry some good feed good tucker good crew there also they had uh, free showers um, they looked after truckies so they came and went during the night but we were so tuckered never heard them but this is a great spot all these spots on those five days across they can be found on wiki camps extra travelers on board were our three cats, Lukey, Charlie, and Patches. Also, a rainbow lorikeet, Happy Feet. The cats were bound for New Zealand to be looked after while we were traveling around Australia. We put everything in storage and then dropped the motorhome off at Mr. Caravans at the Gold Coast. Traveled to New Zealand to make sure that our cats had settled in. We flew into Christchurch then on to Akaroa, Mount Lyford, and we made friends with the fur seals and enjoyed crayfish and kaikoura. After our short trip in the South Island Christchurch, we then moved on to the North Island to Taupo, where we saw friends and family and we caught up on our skills of trout fishing. A week or so before departure, this is where our baby's been parked up. And heading down to a spot where we can try and sort stuff and get rid of stuff so we know what we got. Mr Caravans, highly recommended. Ray and the team, nice job. Thank you Ray. Right, so what we're doing, I don't know, but yeah, so we've just finished up work, 
catch up with friends and family and um, yeah just take it easy but mother nature the weather has been a, a big factor on what we do we're going to hang around in um, Queensland and just tootle our way up north but um, yeah because of COVID more well, down the end part of COVID now and um, in particular weather it's been wet it's been rainy months of it here in Queensland so we're a little bit worried so we thought well we'll hunker down here for four or five days sort out what we need what we don't need and on the way north we're going to swing into our storage facility get rid of what we don't need and then continue on north a bit of a faster time going through Queensland to catch up with a few friends there's about three or four people on our way north but I think our next agenda is to try and get up to at least Darwin and spend a bit of time doing from Darwin through to Broome um, and get over that wet season up there or get out of there before the wet season and, um, and there and then slowly take our way from there so yeah see how things goes this is uh, totally new to us we've been working jobs here in Queensland and then in the mines so um, yeah see what happens stay tuned sorry if this is a bit rough and around the uh, bit bit raw but um, yeah look forward to seeing what we can compile and show you what sweet as RVing is all about just a interesting little thing that happened on our uh, our trip here our first day we got to um, about the uh, Somerset Dam turn-off t-section and uh, by some miracle a van had caught up to us uh, hadn't seen anything on the road um, through that entire stretch from uh, basically Fernvale pie shop and um, yeah the van uh, I pulled over at the Somerset Dam so that the van and the car behind it could uh, um, pass so I wouldn't hold them up the van pulled in behind me <laughs> so I'm going oh, this is funny well he's just happy to cruise along with me or wants to stop at the station and um, I took off and next thing the van's flashing his lights at me I'm going what's going on here lights pull into the next intersection and he pulls up beside me and goes mate your trailer's on fire your brakes are smoking and there's flames leaping out So what, ha what happened is, yeah, this is a, I guess you call it some kind of sawtooth and that goes forward just to uh, lock on for park and I've gone and flicked it out of the way but uh, somehow during bumps or whatever it's flicked over and as I've been driving it's gone locked on, locked on, locked off, whatever. And uh, yeah, now I've got no trailer brakes. Not brakes, oh, that's worse still. So yeah, so the pads have actually come, they're just completely unglued from yeah, yeah, and then even this. the shoes. Yeah, there we go, all the old bits, and it looks like we've got something new. Cleaned up all the old grease and gunk off whole new backing plate going into place and attaching brake lines handy to have some big sockets eh? Rex is packing the bearings. A lump of grease. You know, you feed the bearing grease in at one end of the bearing. Yeah, yeah. Through, yeah. yeah. You can get it so it's all squelching. That's weird. 
Bam's on. Nuts on. Pin in. Bleed the brakes. Put it all back together. Okay, okay. Oh well, yeah, I was going to say wasn't in a hurry, but that one definitely drunk down that time. Yep. Cap on. Beautiful. I'll never, never, never drive with that thing to happen again. Down here at Somerset Dam at uh, Hazeldine, there's a. Uh, little portable tackle store where you can um, book some boats, fishing licenses, tackle and uh, here's some of the fish species you can go for there, yellow belly red claw catfish, fork tail catfish, Australian lungfish, southern Saratoga, Tapalia, I think Tapalia, barred grunter, short fin eel, Bony Brim, Merry Cod, and Australian Bass. And there's a couple of boats or little kayaks. And you don't have far to go to the lake edge. There you go. That looks fabulous. What a good haul. Oh, now I can't get over that. That's a monster claw on that one. Yeah. Jeez. So you think at some stage he's lost that claw and that one's growing back and that's his... Yeah, that I don't know how they do on the other one, don't Along with the bird life, this uh, funny uh, wood duck, Australian wood duck with his neck. Uh, I think he might have been feeling a, feeling the cold a little bit. We also had uh, a family of kangaroos around. You can also uh, accommodate yourself at the glamping facilities around the lake. The lake on that day, of course, was a little bit grey, but um, we still managed to have a lot of fun and uh, enjoyed our stay. Um, the last uh, day we were there, we got on our bikes and we called up the road to see Rex to say thank you very much for repairing our trailer and catch up with him at his house. Um, if you want to catch uh, more of our adventures, we'll bring this one to a close, but uh, make sure you catch up with Sweet As RVing. Uh, click like, subscribe and share. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time.